Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Brontoc Windows Worm. The uh, first variant of this worm surfaced in October of 2005 and quickly produced many new variants and became pretty widespread in mid-2006. This worm disables a few Windows components and also reboots the machine if any attempt is made to attempt to remove the worm. So before we look at it, we'll go ahead and take a look at how our system is set up as Brontoc will change these settings. So right from the get-go we can tell we have hide file extensions that are known unchecked so we see the .exe on this file. So we can tell it's not just a simple folder, it's actually a pretty nefarious .exe file. It's bad. And if we look in our My Computer, we can see we don't hide hidden files and we don't hide protected operating system files. So we can easily see page file and ntldr. And all these options are right here in this folder options menu on the tools taskbar. Alright, I'll go ahead and run the worm. So it opens up this, this, uh, this uh, explore window to disguise its actions as it installs itself to the machine. If we go ahead and refresh on the desktop, all of a sudden we're not seeing exe on the end of this folder anymore. We refresh it here and we're not seeing hidden or protected operating system files anymore. You can still see it in the folder options that it has changed this setting, but after a restart it will actually remove the folder options menu, making it pretty difficult to remove this change. Now on top of this, as I said before, Brontoc attempts to thwart any methods made to remove the worm. And one of these is to block regedit. But it's not enough simply to block it. Any active window that has the word registry in it makes the computer automatically reboot. So Brontoc is constantly scanning all active windows title bars and as soon as it detects one of those strings that it doesn't like, it will reboot your machine. This can get very annoying very quickly. We'll go ahead and boot back in. There we go. Machine takes quite a bit longer to boot up since the worm is now present. As we can see, our folder options menu is gone. And it also has a few interesting quirks. One of the strings that it blocks is .exe. If .exe is anywhere in the title bar, it reboots the machine. So we can just save a text document as .exe, and that will make the title bar .exe. And what do you think happens? Oh, that's right, machine reboots. So as you can see, that's really about it for the Brontoc Windows Worm. Pretty annoying to remove. You could always just boot in the safe mode, but hey, you know, the average user might not know to do that. Might be getting pretty frustrated when the machine keeps rebooting randomly. So. That's really about it. It disables a few of the more popular antivirus products at the time, or at least attempts to, but it's fairly easy to remove, and that's really about it for the Brom Talk Windows Worm.